Anyone who says, here's my address, write me a poem, deserves something in reply. So I'll tell you a secret instead. Poems hide in the bottoms of our shoes. They are sleeping. They are the shadows drifting across our ceilings. The moment before we wake up, what we have to do is live in a way that lets us find them. That was Naomi Shihab Nye in her poem, Red Suitcase. She says, Poetry is more necessary than ever as a fire to light our tongues. Every day, I wake up to read a poem by her so I can carry that fire into the day. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. Drinking Tea with Naomi Shihab Nye I read a poem every morning with chamomile tea. For 61 days, it's always a Naomi Shihab Nye stirred into every sip. She speaks gently of gratitude, all we are given without having to own. She sees a warbler in the woods who is never too proud to tip her head back, to gaze, look beyond, to find anew what's always there. She talks of words as friends, as discoveries we find perchance, written on envelope flaps or left for years in a drawer. She talks of people who do not pass away, but who die, and then they stay, whose voices fill the air. If you open your hearts, you'll find them there. She muses how we enter our days thoughtlessly, ephemeral as we are, imagining our roots to be deep, forgetting to bow our heads as we should. How we do not feel magnificent when we can lift a bag or grip a handle and only when we break a wrist do we realize how many gifts lie unnamed. And she talks of ordinary people, of boys kicking ball, women cooking meals and how there is no righteous position, only places where brown feet touch the earth and how every crushed home is a story worth a tell. And something shifts in me every morning, a tenderness I like to call my own. Every stranger becomes a friend, the unblasted earth, a place to kneel and kiss. I like to think what I become was always there, rupturing open when poetry becomes a mine my soul steps on. And I know I have travelled long over rocky terrain, trusting that I was always waiting for myself to arrive. Trusting that I was always waiting for myself to arrive. Naomi Shihab Nye is a Palestinian-American poet. Her poetry shimmers with the anguish of a whole battered nation. But it is also full of gratitude as she notices the smallest of things and urges the reader to find grace in them. For the last two months, every morning, I read a poem by her. A single poem. It will probably take me years to finish all her books, but I don't care because this daily ritual cleanses me, readies me to face the world with equanimity and thankfulness. I feel now she belongs to me. She says, let me peer out at the world through your lens. Maybe I will shudder or gasp or tilt my head in a question. Let me see how your blue is my turquoise and my orange is your gold. Suddenly binary stars, we have startling gravity. Let's compare scintillation, let's share starlight. She's a bridge, Naomi is. Her words are flowers and never rocks and her world always urges us to be kind. 
because with kindness comes understanding comes the stardust to change us however small the corner of the world we might be staying in only kindness that raises his head from the crowd of the world to say it is i you have been looking for and then goes with you everywhere like a shadow or a friend and then goes with you everywhere like a shadow or a friend This is Sunil Bhandari and you were listening to Uncut Poetry. Did you enjoy what you heard? Share it with someone you love. WhatsApp the poem and follow me on iTunes, Spotify, Gaana, Stitcher, Google Podcasts or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Uncut Poetry has started a new podcast called Red River Sessions where we talk to poets and delve into their craft and art and into their lives. You can get Uncut Poetry presents Red River Sessions on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Podcasts or anywhere you get your podcasts from. Write into me at uncutpoetrynow@gmail.com and follow me on Instagram at sunilgivesup. See you next week.